As you may have noticed when we logged onto our computer at the beginning of this tutorial, we already have a main user account set up called EasyWay. It's easy to set up further accounts, which is useful if more than one person in your office or household is using the same computer. Each account has its own folders for saving documents into, and you can apply different preferences to each account, so everyone who uses the computer can have their own personal workspace. It also allows you to protect any children using the computer, as you can apply individual restrictions and security settings to the accounts they use. First, click on Start, then Control Panel, and under the User Accounts and Family Safety heading, click the link for Add or Remove User Accounts. In addition to our EasyWay account, there is also this Guest account, which is currently switched off. We will come back to this later, but for now we will discuss the various types of user accounts and show you how to create and edit them. Administrator account An administrator is the top level of account that is available on a PC. When you are logged in as an administrator, you will be able to create, delete and edit other user accounts, view all the files on the computer, apply security settings and install or uninstall programs. In effect, you are the supervisor of all your computer's activities. As you can see here, our EasyWay account is an administrator, and it is also protected with a password. Standard account With a standard account you can open files, work in applications and create documents, but it does have some restrictions. For example, you cannot install or uninstall programs, change settings that affect other users, such as security options, or view any files belonging to other users. This makes a standard account ideal for children to use. You may also wish to create a standard account for all other regular users of your PC if you do not want them to have access to your private files or permission to change your computer's configuration. We will now create a standard account for our youngest son, John. To do this, click on Create a new account and in the following screen type in a name. We will type in John. Next, we need to choose the type of account and there are descriptions here to help you make your selection. We want to create a standard user account, and this is already selected by default, so we will just click the Create Account button. As you can see, our new account is now set up and is ready to be used. Windows has also selected an image at random to apply to the account, but we will show you how to change this later on. Guest account. Finally, the guest account is useful when a friend or visitor asks to use your computer to maybe collect their emails or surf the web.